Rookie of the Year. And guys, for Rookie of the Year, I mean, you saw the names pop up on the screen. Adrian Yanez, Contender Series Knockout, Knockout over Victor Rodriguez in UFC, Ilya Taparia. This guy looks like the real deal coming out of Spain, Georgia, and a little bit of Germany as the UFC would bill him. Chaos Williams, say what you will about the loss to Michelle Pereira at the end. I mean, again, you can make a case for either guy, but the two knockouts to start his UFC career, absolutely amazing. And Joaquin Buckley, again, lost to Kevin Holland in his debut, but you saw something special out of that fighter in Joaquin Buckley. He definitely has to be on this list. Guys, again, we talk one horse races. Is this one too much of a one horse race? Matt, I'll start with you. Let's be honest. There's a lot of exciting prospects in the UFC right now. And I, I do think we kind of nod our hat to a lot of those. Again, Adrian Yanez, he's an exciting prospect. Ilya Tapor Uria is an exciting prospect. Same thing with Buckley. Hamza Shemaev could be fighting for a title within the next like eight months and no one else on that list can say that and for Shemaev it's not like he was just a big deal inside the UFC like he was making somewhat mainstream news because of the way he was able to dispatch his opponents when stats come out that you are outlanding that you are outlanding guys in the hundreds to their one or two significant strikes landed in a fight shows a certain level of dominance that we rarely see from any fighter much less just a rookie of the year so I do think this is one of the easier awards to give away and giving to Hamza Shemaev. He could be nominated for Fighter of the Year. He could be nominated for quite a few of these awards. John Franklin, Adrian Yanez had a great start. Taparia had a great start. Williams did, and then he lost. Joaquin Buckley lost, and then he won. And I mean, knockout of the year? Maybe. You'll have to wait and find out. Hamza Shemaev is that hot thing with the UFC. And this isn't a guy that's been around for a long time. You know, the thing about Shemaev that's interesting is that very rarely, and this is a sport where all kinds of guys and gals come and go with all kinds of performances, impressive performance of the nights and all that. But only a rare few end up getting that boogeyman status, right? Joanna had it. The person that no one wants to fight, no matter what they say. They'll call him out only if they know they won't get the fight. The guys that might get the fight, they're quiet as kept. And I think that Shemayev's reached that. And like Matt said, I mean, to go from being a rookie – and using saying saying the phrase using the pandemic as an opportunity is a horrible thing to say. But, you know, there are people who use the fact that they're willing to turn over quickly. You know, we were talking about that Mershar fight being a legit fight. Like, the, the, uh, like you know, kind of like what we said with Greg Hardy, right? And even Greg Hardy was never the boogeyman. We was like, oh, wait till he gets to this guy. That'll set Hardy straight. We said with Mershar, wait till Shemayev gets to Mershar. That'll set them straight. Things will level out. Everything will start to be, you know, come back down to reality. Then he walked across the cage and knocked him dead. And then, it, and then the hype grew even further. Shemayev is on that Masvidal kind of run where everything he touches is gold. And it just seems to keep trending up. And you can't realistically figure out where his level is quite yet. Is this guy an all-timer? Or is he just catching the right opponents? So, Craig... Make it official. That 2020 Rookie of the Year status goes to Hamza Chimaev. Nobody more deserving. I mean, three performance of the night bonuses, three big finishes, three big wins. Looks absolutely amazing. And I mean, again, Matt, you touched on it. The fact that he could be your fighter of the year. He could be nominated for so many different categories here. And maybe he will be. But Hamza Chimaev, definitely your Rookie of the Year.